The Democratic Republic of Congo has made another formal referral to the International Criminal Court to ensure the court will focus on what it calls the systematic looting of its natural resources in eastern DRC by the Rwanda Defense Forces and the M23 rebel group. Congolese troops have been pushing back M23 rebels after the group captured swathes of territory last year. Kinshasa is accusing Rwanda of aiding the rebels. Kigali denies any involvement. DRC's Justice Ministry says the referral's goal would be to investigate and prosecute any person involved in human rights violations between 2022 and 2023. The ICC already has an ongoing investigation into Eastern DR Congo since 2004. It is not clear if the new referral would shift the court's focus. The ICC has previously convicted three different Congolese militia leaders of war crimes and crimes against humanity. ICC prosecutor Karim Khan is expected to visit Kinshasa and provinces affected by rebel groups from Sunday. Well, let's get more on this development. Uh, Chris Ochamringa is in Kinshasa for us and Ethan Tashoba is joining us from Kigali for more. Good to see you both. Chris, let me start off with you. What more can you tell us about the government's complaints to the International Criminal Court against Rwanda's military and M23 rebels? Well, Beatrice, uh, the DRC's Minister of Justice, Rose Mutombo, filed this case against Rwanda and the M23 rebels at the International Criminal Court because the DRC government has become very disappointed by the kind of response that this conflict, which started in 2021, has elicited from the international community. Over the past year, the DRC president has sent his top diplomats to international bodies like the United Nations Security Council, the European Union and the African Union, urging them to impose sanctions against Rwanda, which it accuses of using the M23 rebels as a proxy to destabilize its country and plunder its mineral resources. But all these organizations have been calling for the DRC to resolve this conflict with the rebels through dialogue. And that has really disappointed, frustrated the Congolese government. And so they have gone to the, M, uh, to the ICC as a last resort to try and find justice for the victims. The DRC government has cited uh, cases like a massacre of about 130 people in a town known as Kishishi that happened last November and the rape of uh, more than 60 women. Uh, that, that those uh, violations have all been attributed to the M23 rebels and they said that they will use that as the evidence to present to the ICC so that they can get a prosecution. And uh, you know, these are violations that constitute war crimes crimes against humanity and acts of aggression, which all fall within the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court. Beatrice? And Ethan, so what has been the reaction of Rwanda's government to DRC's complaint to the ICC? Yes, Beatrice, it's been a, a reaction that has been consistent on the Rwandan government side. Over the years, Rwanda has said that DRC government, all the governments in the previous years, at least from 1994, they have failed the Eastern DRC. They have failed to provide all the infrastructure got, despite all the reaches from the Eastern DRC. And there have been most of the leaders saying, according to the Rwandan government, at least according to the president, uh, Paul Kagame, according to the foreign affairs ministers, all the leaders have instead opted to enrich themselves. But they have also blamed uh, the MONUSCO, the UN forces that are deployed in the Eastern DRC. They have spent billions of US dollars to try to restore peace, to actually keep peace. But one of the things that the government of Rwanda says is that they have failed to restore peace. They have gone there to sort of restore peace, but they have failed to actually even keep the peace they are supposed to be doing at, as their responsibility, the UN forces. And that has led to, uh, you know, a rooting of the minerals of Eastern DRC from different um, hundreds of armed forces operating in that region. And at some point, they are blamed on uh, M23. This is a Kenya Rwanda speaking, um, Kenya Rwanda speaking armed force fighting for their rights, as wanting to be the who considered as the as the citizens of DRC, and end up being uh, attributed to Rwanda as the force that is being supported by the Rwandan government. So it's a sort of a blame game here that DRC is saying that Rwanda is rooting the minerals. Rwanda is saying that. The DOC government have failed on their part to sort of bring uh, prosperity, the bring transformation that matches the resources that are found in DOC. 
but also failing to restore mm -hmm. peace in that troubled region.